Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to find the standard form of equation of hyperbola with a given condition. To start with number 1, we have foci at 9, 3, vertices at 9, negative 5, and 9, 1. So in order for us to find the standard form of equation of hyperbola, let us plot first the given coordinates. So first, we have foci at 9, 3. Let us plot foci, that is 9, 3, that is 9 units to the right and 3 units up. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 3 units up. 1, 2, 3. So this is our foci. 9, 9 3. Next, let's have vertices. That is 9, negative 5. So let us count... 5 units down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is our vertices. Next, we have 9, 1. 9, and then 1. So as you can see, the units of vertices to the foci is 2 units. So therefore, if we have 2 units to the uh, upward, we're going to have 2 units down from the vertices. 1, So this is our foci. Now, using this given, we can easily identify our center. So our center is located at 9 and negative 2. So this is our center. Now, since we have foci that is vertically oriented with x axis with y axis, we can say that our graph opens upward and downward. Before that, let us determine the distance from center to vertices and distance from center to foci. So our A, that is distance from center to vertices, that is 3 units. So that is 1, 2, 3. And then C is 5 units because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that is 5. Now, let us determine the value of b. To find the value of b, we are using formula c square equals a square plus b square. So the value of c is 5. So 5 square equals a square, that is 3 square plus b square. To simplify, we have b square equals 5, 25, that is 5 square minus 3 squared, that is 9. Therefore, 25 minus 9 is 16. B squared, so to find the value of B, B is positive, negative 4, or simply 4. Now, using this given, we can easily identify the standard form of equation of our hyperbola. First, let us locate first the value of B, or the coordinates of B. So since we have 4, that is 4 units up, right, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 4 units to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, let's get first the graph. So we have here our rectangle in order for us to draw our line of asymptote. Okay, line of asymptote passing through the corner and to the center of our hyperbola. Then let's draw the opening that is upward and downward. So this will be the sketch of our graph. So that is opens upward and downward. Whenever we have hyperbola opens upward and downward, we are using y minus k square over a square minus x minus h square over b square equals 1. So as you can see, our center is 9, negative 2. The value of a square is 9, 
b square is 16. So, in order for us to find the standard form, we simply substitute the value of center a square and b square to the formula. So, that is y plus 2 square because we have negative k and negative 2. That is, that's why we have plus 2 over 9 minus x minus 9. That is the value of h over 16 equals 0. So this will be our standard form. Now, let us determine the line or the equation of our asymptote. So our a is positive negative 3. B is positive negative 4. Our center is 9 negative 2. So since we have upward, we are using y minus k equals positive negative a over b times x minus h. Therefore, y minus k, that is y plus 2, equals positive negative 3 over 4 times x minus 9. So this will be the equation of our asymptote. And number 2, vertices negative 2, 8, and 8, 8, and focus 12, 8. To find the standard form of equation of hyperbola, let us sketch the given coordinates. Now, let us sketch first vertices that is negative 2, 8. So we have here negative 2, 1, 2, we have positive 8 upward, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is our one of the vertices. Next, 8, 8. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then we have foci, that is 12, 8. 1, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have vertices and foci, the distance is 4. If you have 4 distance to the right, we're going to have 4 distance to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. Using this given, we can easily identify our center. That is 3, 8. This is our foci. And this is our center. Now, we have here center and vertices whenever we have center and vertices the distance is always the value of a so the value of a here is from negative from positive 3 to 8 4 1 2 3 4 5 so a is 5 and then c that is the distance from center to foci so if we have 5 we're going to have another 4 that is 9 so we already know the value of a, c, and we, we are going to find the value of b. To find the value of b, we are using c square equals a square plus b square. a square or c square is 9 square. And then a square is 5. And then b square. 9 square is 81 minus or equals 25 plus b square then we're going to add ne negative 25 in both sides we're going to have b square equals 81 minus 25 81 minus 25 that is 56 b square to find the value of b since 56 is not perfect square but it is factorable by a perfect square in a certain number we're going to have 4 times 14 so to simplify square root of 4 is positive negative 2 square root of 14 so this is our value of b but how can we plot positive negative 2 square root of 14 since square root of 56 is between square root of 49 and square root of 64 that means it is between 7 and 8 
So from center, we're going to count 7, between 7 and 8. So let's start with center. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this is 8. So therefore, it's between 7 and 8. So this is the end point. Next, so this is our center. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's between 0 and 1. After that, we're going to draw a rectangle to sketch our line of asymptote. Okay. Then draw the line of asymptote passing to the corner and center. So the opening this time is to the right and to the left because we have foci on the sideways now since the opening of our graph is to the right and to the left we are using formula x minus h square over a square minus y minus k square over b square equals 1 now let us determine what is a square a square is 25. B square is the square root of 56. Or the value of B is 2 square root of 14. You can choose any of the two. And then square. And then our center is here. That is 3, 8. So this is H and K. So we have X minus 3 square a square is 25 minus y minus k y minus 8 square over 56 rather b is 56 equals 1 so this will be our standard form then to find the line of asymptote since our graph is upward or to the right and to the left we are using y minus k equals b or positive negative b over a times x minus h so y minus k that is y minus 8 equals b is positive negative so this is the value of b this time 2 square root of 14 over value of a that is 5 times x minus h that is x minus 3 so this will be our equation for asymptote. On my last example, we have foci at 0, 5 and 0, negative 5 and vertex at 0, 3. So to find the standard form, let us plot the foci and vertex. So we have foci and vertex at 0, 5, 0, negative 5. So 0, 5 that is from y-axis. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the end point of our foci. And then, we're going to have 0, negative 5. Using this given, we can easily identify our center. If it's in the middle of our foci, that is 0, 0. Next, 0, 3. That is for the text. 0, 1, 2, 3. If we have 3 units from the center upward, we're going to have 3 units down because center is the middle of vertices and foci. 1, 2, 3. Now, by mirror inspection, we can say that our graph is upward and downward because we have foci that is aligned to the y-axis. Now, we have center and vertices. The distance is the value of A. So this time, A is 3 units that is 1 2 3 c distance from center to focus that is 5 so we let us find b and then to find b we are using c square equals a square plus b square c that is 5 so we have 5 square a that is 3 3 square plus b square 
So we're going to move negative 3 square or positive 3 square to the side of 5 square. That is b square equals 5 square minus 3 square. 5 square, that is 25, minus 3 square, that is 9. So b here, b square is 25 minus 9 is 16. To find the value of b, b is positive negative 4. Square root of 16 is positive negative 4. So let us count 4 units to the right and 4 units to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then 1, 2, 3, 4. And then let us draw a rectangle to sketch our asymptote. So this is our asymptote. Let's extend a little more. And then let's draw the opening that is upward and downward. Now, let us find this the standard form. So we have center at 0, 0. And then a square, that is 9. b square is 16. So since the opening is upward and downward, we are using y minus k square over a square minus x minus h square over b square equals 1. Then, let us have to substitute that is substitute center in a square and b square. So since we have 0, that is y minus 0 square, a square is 9 minus x h 0 over 16 equals 1. So to simplify our equation, we have y square over 9 minus x square over 16 equals 1. So this will be our standard form. Now, let us determine the line of asymptote. So that is y minus k equals, if the, since the opening is upward, we have rise over run. So this is a and this is b. So that is positive negative a over b times x minus h. So we have y minus k, that is y minus 0 or simply y equals positive negative. The value of a is 3, b is 4. So 3 over 4, x minus 0, or simply x. So this will be our standard form, or the line of our asymptote.